Hello, this is Dustin with Home Mender, and we've got a hole in the ceiling. But don't worry, we're gonna fix the whole thing. I'm gonna show you how. Let's get to it. So first, I'm gonna get my line marked out of the board that I'm gonna cut out. We're gonna see how far over the next stud is. Uh, from this break, it looks like 21 inches, but then I'm gonna add three quarters of an inch to my measurement so I can catch the stud. 22 inches, make a mark. Now I'm gonna measure from the wall and find out how far that mark is. 46 and a half. I'm gonna cut this out to about here. I'm gonna go 46 and a half and make a mark. Now I'm gonna take the unused part of my new drywall with the 90 degree angle on it and I'm gonna set my board up here on my, my new line so I can get a square board. COVID approved mask. After you get it pulled out, you can remove all the screws and make sure the edge are nice and smooth with your razor knife. Now that we got the ugly cut out, but I want to secure all the edges to my existing ceiling to the stud so everything's nice and tight. Now a repair is going to work best if you have the old ceiling and the new drywall at the same plane. One screw in the middle will hold off the board. Now you can screw it off. It's ready to be mesh taped. I'm using fiberglass mesh tape. The board's kind of ugly now, but after we mud, it'll be beautiful. After we get it taped off, we're gonna mix up some easy sand five minute mud. We're gonna go with the consistency of about mayonnaise so we can spread it. Get all the powder chunks out and we are going to cover all the tape. Best to do it all one direction, go with the tape and get all the tape covered. All right, that's a good first coat. Let's let that sit a bit. Coat's about dry. We have a little bit of darkness here. I'm just gonna go through with a knife and scrape off any protruding like ridges that I've left. I'm gonna do this a little soupier this time. You can kinda see that there. And we're just gonna go over the tape again but this time I'm gonna do like tight to the finished ceiling and then tight to the new ceiling. That way I can feather the two sides. You could just take your time I'm covering the tape, but then I'm like keeping pressure to this side so I can smooth it out. Second coat is on and dry. Now we're gonna do a light sand with a drywall sponge. All right, so now after my third coat and my little touch-up mudding, I did another light sand. Now I'm gonna take some of the drywall compound, the blue top, pre-mixed stuff, but put on a really thin coat because my texture on my existing ceiling uh, is not very coarse. So we're just gonna need it really thin and then we'll start our fan. Now I'm gonna do my fan texture and the idea is 
to do one stroke and then the next stroke down cover the beginning and the ending of your previous stroke. So that's it. We just rocked that sealant repair, pulled down. You saw that we had uh, sagging about an inch and a half. So we cut that section out, put up a new board, taped it in, finished it all for about 10 bucks. Look at you. So for Home Ender, I'm Dustin. I hope you learned something today. And if you did, don't forget to click subscribe. Thanks for watching.